I'm Donald Trump, and you're watching Fox and Friends. And if you turn the channel, you're fired. Thank you, Donald. That's something to keep in mind this morning before grabbing that remote. All right, tomorrow at this time, the battle lines are drawn. Democrats, Republicans coming to the only way we get a deal. Right, and it'll be interesting to see if these folks will come together and compromise because there are going to be a lot of people in that room tomorrow and a lot of the big names. Uh, the vice president will be there, John Boehner, yeah. uh, Harry Reid, McConnell, Pelosi. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big name of people that have been really working hard on this for a long time. And now it's, it's getting time down to, do to the wire. Yeah, it's getting down it's to the to wire. It's time to do it. You got to have some political and, of course, forced to address the recent jobs report, which was bleak at very best. Unemployment again up for the fourth straight month. You know the numbers by now. 18,000 jobs created, right. as I may have told you. People that need jobs, that don't have yeah. jobs, that would like to have jobs. Uh, and it's interesting to see now as Speaker Boehner and the President have been getting together, and it seems like they may be reaching some sort of compromise, but not making the folks that are standing behind them, some other Republicans and Democrats, not happy with what they're trying to do. And they would like to see the big deal done. That $4 trillion deal done. Uh, but Boehner still has a big question to ask. Where are the jobs? Take a listen. Just staring at each other, <laughs> pointing Counting guns at days. each other. You know. Yeah, gonna... look, and, and that's a tough point to make when you're Nancy Pelosi. You have to. Yeah, is that what's going to happen? The eight of them together in a room? I wish they would do more of that when they get into the room. Start, you know, start yelling at each other yeah. until you get something done. We will see. It happens tomorrow. Uh, some other news this morning. Sad news. Former First Lady uh, Betty Ford has died at the age of 93. Peter Ducey joins us from Washington with more on her remarkable life. Peter. Patients are losing. Well, they're losing their patients, fed up with too much time spent in the waiting room. Many people are turning the tables on their doctors and billing them for the wasted time. But are doctors really paying up? And will this even fix the problem? Joining us, what do you think of this idea? Do we charge them for our time that we Love spend it. in the waiting room? I could see being a lot these days. And they may be running late, especially primary care doctors like me. $15 for another 15 minutes, right? Right, right. Interesting. The, right. Uh, the average the... waiting time for an emergency room, now not primary care, is four hours and seven minutes in this country. Through care, but aren't right. doctors booking far too many patients to be able to see you in a timely manner? In a word, you... They'll reimburse by the procedure, by the patient, and then it's an incentive for doctors to book a lot of procedures and patients, right? Well, you're really right on that, Molly. We're talking to do that. If we have to kick back when yeah, we're running right. late, more doctors are going to run. Exactly. The vision the next Thank week. you. Uh, well, a growing public outrage for the jury who... All right, well, now we've got to check the out iPad the iPad app. If you miss any segments here on Fox News, you can get on the free Fox News iPad app. It's on the iTunes store. You can check out, like Jeff Gordon right there. But plenty of uh, information on this iPad app. The News of the World will print its final edition tomorrow. The paper is part of the News International, the UK newspaper division of News Corp, which is the company that owns Fox News. She will make up for that. And, uh, Eating vegetables may be good for your health, but they might also land you in jail. Julie Bass of Oak Park, Michigan could get 93 days behind bars for growing a vegetable garden in her front yard. The city says it's a code violation. So, you know, why should you grow things in the front? Well, why shouldn't I? They're fine, they're pretty, they're well maintained. Wow, well, Bass was given a warning, then a ticket. Now she's being charged with a misdemeanor. Bass says she will not remove that garden. They're out of their gourds. <laughs> Right, the right get, to garden. Uh, let's get out to Rick Reich.